everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the turtle stitch, which is the stitch that you see here in front of you. This is really quite a unique and pretty stitch and I feel like the camera isn't quite doing uh, the texture justice here. The shell stitch is worked in front and back loops of the stitches down below, which gives it a little bit of a 3D look and just makes the texture of the stitch pop. It's quite a simple stitch to work uh, and it works fairly quickly and again it has this beautiful beautiful result to it. So we're going to learn how to crochet this stitch today for the tutorial. I'm going to be using a six millimeter crochet hook along with the Karen Times Pantone yarn uh, there. I'm going to be linking uh, links to each of these items in the notes for this video in case you'd like to learn more about them. So let's uh, grab your hook and some yarn and we're going to learn how to crochet this turtle stitch. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, if you haven't already I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel which is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. Now for our stitch today, our stitch is worked in rows. So we're going to start by making our slip knot and a foundation chain. Our foundation chain can be any multiple of six stitches plus one. So today I'm going to chain 19. Twelve, eighteen, and one more for nineteen, but you can do any multiple of six plus one. I'm then going to begin row one by working two double crochet stitches into the fourth chain from hook. So count in one, two, three, four. Into that fourth chain, I'm going to work two double crochet stitches. You're going to skip the uh, next two chains, one, two, and work a single crochet into the next stitch. Skip two chains, then you're going to work a shell stitch, which will be five double crochet stitches all into that next chain. So skip two and work a shell stitch, which is five double crochet stitches all into the same chain. Here's four and five. Skip two chains, one, two, and single crochet into the next stitch. Skip two chains and work a shell stitch, five double crochets, into the next stitch. When you come to the end, you're going to repeat that. When you come to the end, you're going to have three chains left over. You're going to skip two and work a single crochet into the final chain. You're then ready to chain three and turn your work. Your chain three is going to count as a double uh, crochet stitch. You're then going to work into that first, so for row two, into that first single crochet stitch, we're going to work our first front loop double crochet stitches. So when you look at your, uh, the tops of your stitches, I have my chain three here, and then I have my top of my single crochet stitch, and I have this V right here up on top. 
To work in the front loop, you're going to work in the loop that's closest to you, that horizontal bar that's closest to you. To work in the back loop, you're going to work in the bar that's farthest away from you and into those only. So first we're going to work two front loop double crochet stitches into that first single crochet stitch. So working under that front loop only, I'm inserting my hook under that front loop only, work one double crochet and again into that front loop two double crochet stitches. You're then going to skip the uh, first two double crochet stitches into the next of the next shell and you're going to work a front loop single crochet stitch into the next stitch. So again under the front loop only front loop single crochet stitch. Skip the next two double crochets in that shell and work a front loop shell into the next single crochet. So all worked, five double crochets, all worked under the front loop only of that single crochet stitch. There's one, two, three, four, and five. All only under that front loop. Skip the next two double crochet stitches into the top of the next, so that center double crochet of that next shell. Under the front loop only, work a front loop single crochet stitch. Skip the next two double crochets into the next single crochet stitch, work a front loop shell. So five double crochet stitches all under the front loop only. And there's five. You're then going to skip the next two double crochet stitches. And uh, well, you're going to repeat that all the way across your foundation chain. When you come to the end as I have, you're going to skip those next two double crochets and then just into the top under both loops, of that starting chain three, you're going to work a single crochet stitch. And that brings you to the end of your row two. For row three, we're going to start by chaining three and turning our work. So now you can see that texture there in the front. You have from your row two, your shells and your single crochet stitches all worked in your back loops only. So you have a little bit of the texture popping out. We're now going to be working in the back loops only of our stitches. And it's going to essentially be worked the same as your last row, just only in the back loops. So we're going to start by working two double crochets into the back loop only of that first single crochet stitch. So there's our single crochet, looking at the top, finding our back loop only. So under that horizontal bar only, work two double crochet stitches. Skip the next two double crochets into the back loop only of the next stitch, the next double crochet, work a single crochet. Skip the next two double crochet stitches into that single crochet, working in the back loop only, work one shell stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Skip two, work a back loop only single crochet stitch. Skip two and into the next single crochet, work a back loop shell stitch. Continue that all the way across till your final three double crochet stitches. You're going to skip the first two double crochets and into the top of that chain three, work your final single crochet stitch. 
Now for the rest of this pattern, you're simply going to repeat your rows two and three. So and you're going to repeat those shell stitches, just alternating between working in your front loops and your back loops. So that last row we worked in our back loops only. So now we're going to chain three, turn our work, and now we're going to work in the front loops only. So two double crochet into that first single crochet stitch, working under the front loop, skip two, front loop, single crochet in the next stitch, skip two, front loop shell into the next single crochet stitch. Repeat that all the way across and work a final single crochet into the top of that starting chain three, turn your work, then chain three and start all over again this time working in your back loops only. I'm going to finish this row and then I'll turn it around for you so that you can see once again that texture that is coming through. There we go. Turn my work and there it is. So my next row will be in the back loop only and then continue your repeat for as long as you'd like. So thank you so much for joining me uh, for this stitch tutorial on how to work the turtle stitch. And uh, once again, I invite you to subscribe, check out some of the other videos that are there. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.